Okay, so like they said, um, I'm Ryan Crum, and this is Haseeba Maud. Um, we're the uh, Pikeville High School student senators. Um, so at the beginning of the year, we came and presented our, our plan for the year, and now we have um, uh, the projects, that's all, all the different projects that we've done. So. One of the things that Student Senate focused on at the beginning of this year was a health initiative. And that was to push students to live a more healthier life. And for, for, for one of those things that we decided to do was get a um, water fountain that also has a water bottle filler in it. So those of you that don't know what that looks like, it's right here. We've had this for about, I'd say, two weeks, and we've saved over 2,000 plastic water bottles, and students have already said that they've, they feel like they're drinking more water than they ever have before at school. Because most schools charge way more. In our school, I know it charges like $1.25, which is pretty insane for water. So these uh, new water fountains are really helping students drink more water and live a healthier life. Okay, so one of the big um, projects that we did this year was we created an, 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 an I can't say this word, ambassador council. Um, so it has representatives from each club and sport at the school on it, and they work together to do different projects to kind of better school culture as a whole. Um, but one of the big things that they all had to do when they signed on to be members of the ambassador council was um, agree to work at the club and sports fair. So our seventh and eighth grade is part of our high school too. It's a seven through 12 school. So um, one day um, during third period, it's their enrichment classes, we went down and did a club and sports fair and they got to see all the different things that they could sign up for during high school and kind of get a look at what their interests were and they also took a quiz before they came to the club and sports fair that we created that allowed them to see um, which clubs and which sports they were most apt for and what they would exceed in, in, in high school. So like I said, we have um, an ambassador council that has members from each club and sport. And basically, at the beginning of the year, we gave out a survey to ask people about how they felt about our academics, our school culture, our, our attendance behavior, anything that you could think of that affects how, how you feel about your school district. And with those um, statistics, we came up with goals for each of them to um, accomplish. So some of them were um, tackling health initiatives and problems that we um, saw in the survey. And then others were talking about school culture and um, if they felt like they were accepted and had a, a, a friends and academic behavior and different things like that. Um, and throughout the year, they've done projects to try to um, bring up the, those statistics to where it looks that we have a little bit better scores on our um, end of the year survey that we're going to give in May. Um, another thing that we did this year was peer tutoring. So I'm one of the National Honor Society Executive Council members at Pikeville, and um, I decided this year that in order to fulfill your National Honor Society requirements, you also had to have an additional five hours of tutoring inside the school, um, volunteer tutoring. You couldn't get paid for it or anything. So that we would have more students staying after school to help um, people in the um, seventh and eighth grade and up in the high school um, figure out how to do math problems or anything. We helped with. Um, basically anything. I think we had people in every different subject at, at some point in time. And it, not only did it raise um, um, how successful our tutoring program was, but also our National Honor Society um, averaged over 30 hours per student this year because of that. This was something that Ryan and the students that had before me had actually started, and this was their Shop Local initiative. Now, Shop Local initiative was to help small businesses and the economy near Pikeville thrive. So what we did is every student at Pikeville High School got a student ID made on the day of orientation, and they could use these IDs at throughout various locations in Pikeville. So we have, like, Subway, we had uh, Dairy Cheer, we had... Uh, uh, we had dominoes, so people could go and they would get a discount while still supporting some of our local businesses. Also, school culture is what Ryan talked about at the beginning of the year, how school culture was very important to us, and it was the main focus of our projects. So at the beginning of the year, you can see that only about 45% of students agreed that our school culture was where it needs to be or if it promotes success for all students. And at the end of the year, we gave another survey and found that over 60% agreed. So we're, we were clearly happy with the response, and we're glad we, could have, we can help our students. And we hope that next year we continue to uh, do some of the stuff that I was able to do today, and as Ryan Lee I can continue the Ambassador Council and other initiatives. 
And just a couple of things that we have left um, throughout the year. Um, at the end of April, we're going to have an Ambassador Council banquet, so we're going to hear um, from the different groups and see what projects they did, sort of like what we're doing today, just on a smaller scale. And um, we're actually going to get to give out a, a small Ambassador of the Year scholarship at that event for um, one of the members that has um, really achieved a lot throughout the school and, and made sure that their project was really good. And then um, I think that's about it, but yeah, so that's our plan.